Well, just gotta lift it up. That is how you disassemble your Xbox. Okay, once we get the Xbox disassembled, might as well go ahead and take off your foam pads here, your thermal pads. Go on the RAM chips. Save those because you're definitely going to need them for later. Take the same tool I was using to pop the Xbox open. Just kind of stick inside the there and pop it up. Generally, you only have to get two of them to pop up, and then you can just kind of wiggle it off. But if it's being a pain, let's do a third one. One of them fell off already. Imagine that. CPU. Lift the GPU heat sink up. And there's our GPU. Okay. You might as well go ahead and clean these because you're going to have to all anyways. I use the MEK to clean them. Just like I do on all the other chips. And then I'll clean these as well. This you got the GPU, then the CPU. Obviously, this is the area we're going to be working with. And this chip right here is the HANA chip could be causing the problem as well. And we do have a stencil so we can reball that if we need to. But since so many of these just have the GPU issue, that's what we're going to start with. I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up. And then uh, I'll show you how I put it on the bracket. And uh, remove the glue, because there is glue on this one. Um, and then we'll remove the chip and start the reball process. Okay, um, cleaned off my uh, GPU and my CPU. Um, and that thermal paste that comes standard is just a major pain in the butt. Um, I recommend maybe starting off scratching it off with a flathead, small flathead screwdriver. Just don't scratch the chip. And then try to hit it with your uh, MEK. Um, it just takes a lot of scrubbing. Um, even the MEK doesn't take it off like it does normal thermal paste that I use on laptops. Um, for the heat sinks, you know, you want to start off maybe using a razor blade to scrape it off since it's such a flat surface and get that initial layer off. 
and then I use Goo Gone to get the rest of it off. It comes off easy peasy, Japanesey. Um, lastly, you know, then you want to use MEK on it to get all the Goo Gone off of it. So I got the motherboard or the Xbox 360 board on my jig here. I didn't think it was necessary for me to show you how to put it on a jig and screw it down. I mean, if you use a jig, great. If you don't, you don't. Um, so I'm going to zoom in on the chip, the GPU, and we're going to remove the glue with a hot air gun uh, on about a speed level of 4 and temperature of 365 with a small step down nozzle and a little uh, pick that I bought at Harbor Freight tool that helps me just scrape it off.
So our glue is gone. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just clean around the edge with MEK just to do it. Tape it up and uh, then we'll get started. Okay, as you can see, uh, I got the board set up, my thermocoupler on it. Um, got it taped up with the Jovi reflective tape. Uh, some people don't use the tape. I just prefer to do it just as a safety precaution. I have it, so why not use it? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start my lower heater, put it on fast reflow. Now uh, it's at 26 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, once it hits 110, I'm going to swing the upper heater over. Um, I usually turn the uh, upper heater on uh, to fast reflow once it gets to about 90 degrees, but I've noticed that I'm going to start doing it around 70 degrees just because I want it to be hot. Um, I don't want it to be still warming up when, it, when I have to flip it over. Uh, since it's lead free solder that's on the board well first off since I'm using a jig I had to raise uh, my upper heater to the six and a half mark um, since it raised it an inch I raised it an inch from where I've been using it on the laptops uh, and once it gets to about 220 degrees I'll try to lift the pad since that's the melting point of lead free solder well, it's more like 217 or something like that, but a little over is not going to hurt anything. And it does take a while for this thing to heat up when it's on the jig because it's a little bit further away from the board. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it until I get close to the 75 degree mark. Okay, we're at 75 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my upper heater to fast reflow. Hundred degrees. All right, a hundred and ten. 